Chat GPT, the AI chatbot developed by tech company OpenAI, can find and fix bugs in computer code as well as standard machine learning approaches and does even better when engaged in conversation. A number of tools exist that use artificial intelligence to check programming code to ensure there are no mistakes. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. ChatGPT chatbot came out and we thought it seems very good at fixing software bugs. But its main advantage over other methods and AI models is its unique ability to converse with humans, allowing it to improve the answer's correctness. Researchers from Johannes Gutenberg University, Mainz and University College London compared OpenAI's ChatGPT to standard automated program repair techniques as well as two deep learning approaches to program repair Codex OpenAI's GPT-3 based model that underpins GitHub's Copilot paired programming and autocode completion service and CocoNut from the University of Waterloo, Canada. Although the ability of ChatGPT to solve coding problems is not novel, the researchers emphasize that its unique ability to converse with humans gives it a potential advantage over other approaches and models. Microsoft Corp rolled out a premium Teams messaging offering of powered by ChatGPT to simplify meetings using the AI chatbot that has taken Silicon Valley by storm. OpenAI-owned ChatGPT will generate automatic meeting notes, recommend tasks and help create meeting templates for Teams users. At the same time, Google reportedly has employees testing its own AI-powered chatbot drivers to ChatGPT right now. And it won't be surprising if it was doing something similar with its currently internal tools for turning text into images or even video. ChatGPT is built on the Transformer architecture, which was developed by Google, Codex, Microsoft researchers, Code BERT, and Google's predecessor, BERT, are all based on Google's Transformer method. The examples for debugging code, OpenAI highlights ChatGPT's dialogue capability where it can ask for clarifications and receive hints from a person to arrive at a better answer. Companies that create bug-fixing software and software engineers themselves are taking note. However, an obvious barrier to tech companies adopting ChatGPT on the platform like Sentry in its current form is its that a public database. However, the implications for developers are unclear. While ChatGPT's ability to discuss can help it arrive at a more correct answer, the researchers note that the quality of its suggestions is unknown. That's why they wanted to assess ChatGPT's bug-fixing capabilities. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. Railtel receives Rs 253 crores order from SBI for 4G LTE connectivity to ATMs. Railtel Corporation of India has received a work order from the State Bank of India for providing 4G LTE connectivity to 15,000 off-site ATMs spread across the country. The work order, valid for five years, is valued at Rs 253.35 crores, excluding taxes providing last-mile connectivity on 4G LTE technology in India. The project has been acquired through a competitive bidding process. Reliance to accept CBDC at stores Reliance Retail will start accepting retail payments in digital rupee, which may lead to the adoption of recently launched CBDC. The company said it has partnered with ICICI Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank and Fintech Innovity Technologies to launch the in-store support for digital rupee. Customers who wish to pay with the country's CBDC, that is Central Bank Digital Currency, called e-rupee, will be provided with a dynamic digital rupee acceptance QR code for scanning at the store. Amazon looking to hire Web3 staff for its cloud services. Amazon Web Services is hiring staff to help increase its clientele in the Web3 space. It has been marked by a listing posted a week ago on its LinkedIn site, which is seeking a senior GTM specialist Web3 to work in its Web3 go-to-market team that is responsible for growing adoption of Web3 workloads on AWS. SBI provided loans worth $2.6 billion to Adani Group of Companies. According to a media report, the State Bank of India provided loans worth as much as $2.6 billion to the Adani Group of Companies. It is said that the loans given by SBI to Adani Group of Companies are about half of what is allowed under the rules. SBI's exposure includes $200 million from its overseas units. 
millions of users warned of using Google Chrome browser. Google Chrome is set to become potentially dangerous for millions of users of the web browser from next week. The new version of the Google Chrome, which does not service older versions of Windows, will leave those operating systems susceptible to hackers. Google will be dropping support for Windows versions 7, 8 or 8.1 on February 7th when it rolls out its newest Chrome release. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.